regret quitting my job as a teacher. No, no, no. My name is no. My side is no. My number is no. Since I quit my job, what has it been? Three weeks now? Since I quit my job three weeks ago, I have not regretted it one bit. Um, I actually feel, no, I was going to say I feel like I should have done it sooner, but no. I think everything happened in God's divine order, and I don't feel like I should have quit before now, or I shouldn't have quit. Like, I feel like the way my life is going right now is the way it was supposed to be going. And you guys don't even have any clue what I'm about to pursue in my life or what I'm about to do. But when I can share that information with you, it's going to blow your mind. Basically, I'm going to be starting a whole new life, you know. So I think that right now, working from home, taking time to relax, taking time for self-care, self-reflection, um, thinking about the things that I want to focus on in my career as I move forward, all of that has been so beneficial to me. On one side of the coin, I just clapped. That was weird. <laughs> on one side of the coin, it's been a very peaceful, calm, self-reflective time for me. And then on the other side of the coin, which I will talk about in another video, um, there is an anxiety and stress that comes with changing a career, quitting a job. You know, there's so many life changes that people have. And there is some stress associated with that. So I'm not saying it's like all, you know, roses and, you know, I'm kicking my feet up every day. You know, things are good right now, but there are things to stress about. But as far as me quitting my job, there's no reason for me to feel guilty for doing that because now I can serve young people in a way that I would not have been able to serve them being in the classroom. Because in the classroom, I was frustrated. I was, you know, bored. I was um, annoyed, you know. And, you know, my love for children really was getting questionable. <laughs> it was getting to that point. But doing events like this, has shown me that I still have a very deep love for young people and that my place as a role model and as someone that they can look up to has not gone away. So I recently went to Roxboro, North Carolina to speak at Person High School. It was a girl's summit and it really was like, I don't wanna be like overly dramatic, but it really came at a time in my life where it's like, oh, you're quitting your career, and but but I'm not though, which you'll find out. But I, I, it's not that I'm quitting my career. I'm transitioning into using my skills in a different way. You know, you always would hear those little things like, oh my gosh, what about the children? And it's like, what about them? Teaching is not charity, okay? <laughs> it's not charity work. I know some people have it confused, and I'm not even going to talk about that in this video because I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on how teaching is not charity work. It's not, okay? What I'm doing now is truly community service. And any moment that I spend with a teenage girl, helping her with her self-esteem, helping her understand that she can be who she is, she doesn't have to follow the crowd, she doesn't have to be half naked on Instagram, she doesn't have to be popping. She doesn't have to be what society considers to be a beauty queen. She can be her complete self and be confident in that. If I can help any young teenage girl understand that, well then, hey, I don't need to be in the classroom because I can walk in my purpose in, in a classroom, outside of a classroom, or anywhere else in the world. For that matter, I still can work with children if I so choose to do so. I still can do community service if I so choose to do so. And I still can pour into young people in more creative ways if I so choose to do so. So I think that's it, you guys. I just wanted to come and answer this question for you and let you know that you shouldn't let anybody guilt you into doing anything, not just teaching, any career, you know, any life decision that you are making that you feel good about. It's no one's business. 
It's no one's business to tell you what you should and what you should not do. And so thank you so much for following me along on this Quit Your Job series on this journey where I'm going to give tips, tricks, share my story, share the ups, share the downs, share kind of everything I'm going through because this is so therapeutic for me. And I want you to share this. Share this with people who are going through the same thing that I'm going through. Maybe they haven't quit their job yet, but they are ready to quit their job. You know, I think that it's good that you can use me as like the guinea pig, <laughs> the guinea pig story. Like I'm the experiment, you know, I'm taking you along on this journey with me and I'm showing you what life is like for me now that I've stepped outside of the classroom. So you guys, I will see you in my next video. Hit me up on Instagram, cause that's my jam. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.